we go back to the one of the big limitations of equilibrium load is that you can't have wash load. And so you can only transport with equilibrium load what's in the bed. But one of the big limitations with the rating curve is we don't actually have bed load. And so often you want to use both of these in concert. You want to use the rating curve for your fine or suspended load, your wash and suspended load, and you want to use equilibrium for your bed load. But you can't, you had to choose. And so what we've done is we've added some options where we will interpret the rating curve differently depending on which option you choose. So the way we've been doing things in, up till now is the way most inter interfaces work in software. If you give me a value, we will use that value. If you leave it blank, we will assume it's zero. That seems very logical. Not anymore. Well, that's the, <laughs> that's the way it's gonna work if you choose this. But if, if you choose one of these other options, we will interpret blanks differently. And that's, so in this case, if you choose this, values equal total load and blanks equal equi equilibrium, what we'll do is if it's a value, we'll use that as specified. We'll take this load, we'll take that fraction of it, that's the value for that grain class. But if you leave it blank, we're gonna use the equilibrium assumption for that grain class. So it's kind of like no data. Yeah, I don't have data here. Tell me, tell me what you would do, Raz, is what, we, what we're gonna do there. So, a couple of issues with that. Um, I don't have any clay in my system, and the equilibrium load will compute multiple Earths per time step. Uh, that's not gonna be cool. Well, if you put in a zero, then that's no load. But you have to actually type in a zero in order to tell me there's no load in that grain class. The other thing is that I don't want to have to go in and put in zeros for cobbles and boulders, which I never have. Well, are we going to compute transport for cobbles and boulders? Only if it's in the bed. Only if it's in the bed. And so blanks that aren't in the bed are also zero. Plus, what's the capacity of cobbles and boulders? Very small. Um, and so this is actually a much more flexible editor that's going to, for those, for those of you who find yourself in a position where suspended load and bed load matters, um, this is going to be a really cool tool. It's only in 6.5 um, and it's a little bit hidden, so we wanted to talk about it. There is another approach that we've added where this one gets a little bit complicated, but the, basically, if you put in a number, that is going to be the load for that grain class in suspended load. If you leave it blank, this is, we're gonna compute equilibrium for suspended load. But for bed load, for all grain classes, we're gonna compute equilibrium. Or bed load's off the books. We're gonna use equilibrium for bed load regardless of the grain class. And then for suspended load, um, and again, we're not, do, doing a strict difference, but we are partitioning the equations um, for suspended load. And so really, this works exact, almost exactly the same as this one for suspended load. But for bed load, all grain classes will use the equilibrium equation. 